all my dear parents, soon to be parents and all guardians, welcome to Life with Little Ones channel. In my today's video, I will talk about chicken pox in children, the guidelines for parents. In our video presentation today, you will learn quick overview of chicken pox, etiology agents of chicken pox, mode of transmission of chicken pox, clinical manifestation, treatment guidelines, preventive measures. One of the most notorious diseases among children for being contagious is chicken pox, varicella zoster, also known simply as varicella. It is the virus that causes chicken pox infection. How is chicken pox spread? There are many ways by which the virus get transmitted from one person to another. They include airborne transmission, direct contact, or droplet transmission. Chicken pox is transmitted from person to person by directly touching the blisters, saliva, or mucus of an infected person. The virus can also be transmitted through the air by coughing and sneezing. Chicken pox can be spread indirectly by touching contaminated items freshly sold such as clothing from an infected person. Direct contact with the blisters of a person with shingles can cause chicken pox in a person who has never had chicken pox and has not been vaccinated. The persons infected with the virus should be avoided and as much as possible they keep themselves away from coming in contact with other persons, even those who have just taken the antivaricella virus vaccination should be avoided. Person who get infected by chicken pox become a lifetime host of the virus. What keeps it in check is the body's immune system. There are cases of infants who are endowed with partial immunity from the virus courtesy of the mother's blood. If the mother has earlier contracted the disease, and has developed her own immunity from it. Children whose mothers have not been infected by the chicken pox virus tend to suffer the most when they get infected themselves. Those who have been immunized may still get hit by the virus, but the infection is considered mild. The infection worsens the skin condition of kids afflicted with sunburn or eczema. They are likely to develop blisters thrice more than the average affliction. Severe complication may also harm kids who have earlier taken steroids. Cases of chicken pox infection dropped sharply when the anti-chicken pox vaccine came into commercial use. Vaccination is a necessity for children below 10 years old as they are the age group most vulnerable to contracting the virus. On the other hand, adults or young people beyond the age of 10 show far more severe symptoms when they get hit by the disease. What are the signs and symptoms of chicken pox? A child infected with the virus normally develops an average of 500 itchy blisters. These blisters grow from red-colored spots on the skin and contain fluids. After a time, they burst, creating crust-like deformities on the affected skin. They show up first on the skin, after which they spread over to other parts of the body, such as the scalp and the trunk. The day after they appear, the fluids turn cloudy and eventually scaby. Chicken pox causes irritating and intense itchiness unless treated properly. Crust can also leave lasting marks on the skin. Other symptoms of chicken pox begin to emerge two days after contracting the virus. They include abdominal pain, fever, loss of appetite, and headache. The blisters themselves appear only after a number of days, 10 at the minimum and 20 at the maximum after infections. Diagnosis in chicken pox Testing the blisters and even the blood itself may be conducted to confirm the contamination. The patient's medical, 
History also helps in coming up with the Toro diagnosis. Treatment of chickenpox in children. Antihistamine containing drugs can be administered along with application of prescribed lotion to contain itchiness. Having kids take a bath with lukewarm water and oatmeal also eases the itchiness. To boost their immunization, doctor prescribed antiviral drugs must be taken at the first sure sign of infection. What to do to prevent the infection? Practice good hygiene, get vaccinated, be careful with food you are eating, cover your mouth when you cough, and stay home if you are sick. And for the takeaways, here are the health reminders. Contact your doctor immediately after experiencing symptoms. Other household members who frequently come in contact with the patient also need similar medication. Unlike other vaccines, the antivaricella vaccine does not require boosters. Take medications accordingly. Adolescents may take, with proper medical advice, larger dosages of the vaccine to shield themselves, herb suster, or shrinkles. That's it for today. Thank you for watching and always remember that no tips in this video presentation should be considered medical advice. Always seek the help of professional healthcare provider before making any decision concerning your health and your child's health. Please consider to like and subscribe to our channel and please don't hesitate to ask any further question on comment section. And thank you and hope to see you again in our next video. Have a nice day!